I'm always seeing nuts. I'm always seeing the nuts. I'm always seeing them. I'm so scared, so paranoid. Don't prove me right. All right, didn't play it in a while. Let's uh, try how this Zoom 200 pool is going. Create some action here. No specific goal today, playing without a HUD. Trying to make money, so uh, maybe some reads if there are any. More population tendencies, maybe. It's 1.8, I guess very close, but I'm going to call 63 suited. That eight, actually, I mean, calling is fine, but I prefer raising slightly or getting some like better flush draws to fold, lots of snap folds with that queen 10, 10, 9, and so on. And I have ace 8, ace 4, not always fast playing everything on the flops. So even ace jack, a lower frequency 3 bet here is that I that I can have and race. Pocket 8s here. Small blind flat, always interesting. All kinds of pockets. Uh, I guess cut off mainly weaker pockets than mine. I want to fold out something like king jack, get called by 7s, so good stuff happening. Checking fine also, but I prefer the c bet here. Not knowing much about his range and his bluffing tendencies and so on, so I'm happy with uh, getting a fold. Jack 10 suited, I think should actually be mainly a fold against the button. When I hit, it's not good for me really with a jack with a 10. Ace 4 suited here, very easy call. I think he lacks some bluff. No, never have seen that guy before playing that stack, but suited ace is just uh, playing too well. This one I'm just fast playing. Happy about a fold, obviously. I think six again against the small blind, lots of ace queen in the small blind versus hijack flatting range, so I don't like that. But those medium pockets as well. Actually, I check back. I'm not betting full range here, and I hate check raises with my hand with so much potential a lot. And a three, four giving me such a beautiful nut gut shot. Just these spades. He bets that large. I thought I'm the captain here now. I'm just gonna call. Thought about raising. Actually, I want to overbet delayed there. Can make sense. And now someone found pocket fives. Queen 10 suited. I'm going for a three bet here. Queen 10, I'll go for a 10% C bet. Just attacking his, his pocket pairs and then going from there. Getting called like Jack X of hearts, King X of hearts, 10 X of clubs, uh, folding out some ace jacks. Uh, I gotta check that. Realize equity and the 15 is just a fold. We know this is hijacked, this is rather close. Why not? An action mood. 7 6 suited against big blind. Um, yeah. Not expecting any check raises, to be honest. Going down to 20% pot. Taking full equity and seeing guaranteed two cards. Checking is the other option. Both is absolutely fine. I prefer the bet slightly. All right, so 8-9 offset defense versus um, button. He should put in some bigger C bets here. Decides to check. 8-9, I guess, is a very reasonable check again for like normal size bet. I'm going for that. Like I'm checking 8x and 9x. This is my reasoning for checking 8-9 as well, but I don't see many delayed bluffs there. The upside of checking is them hitting like a king or an ace and then getting the payoff from a river top here. Uh, ace check offsuit, I go for a four bet. Just randomizing that with my heart right now. Six three suited is an option. A check raise, bottom pair with a clean two out, uh, like two pair outs, like a three is very, very deceptive. Not getting any straights there. This guy is, well, probably not having sixes. Well, let's try that out. Flush draws, king jack, something that connects there. Even any queen hates life right now because the, the two pair outs are really bad, like a queen jack, queen 10. Barrel against his draws. Call the main draw with Jack 10 getting there that he shouldn't have anymore. I think my hand is pretty good. I have King X in my bluffing range as well. So it's only 7 8 that really busts 10 8. Uh, I'll go with my set blocker as the um, river jam and let's test him. King Jack of Diamonds, okay, this is exactly, uh, the monster draw, ah, I had him until the river. That's like when you river something, you cannot fold. Uh, I think he wanted ace queen is same hand strength, I guess, uh, because I'm not jamming a king, I'm block betting that, and he's folding ace queen then. So I think my bluff is actually pretty good. Blocking my Jack 10 with a diamond is my most likely one. That's, I think, good card to have. Um, yeah, nice hand. King queen suited for betting or calling. I Go for that, call my 4-9 here. Whenever something seems reasonable, let's go for the for the little more aggressive option. I like it. Sounds like a plan today. Let's go, pocket nines, hijack versus under the gun. We get a cold caller, okay. It's someone we put on jacks, tens, and ace queen suited, which is probably not that great for our nines. And this can obviously be ace king, or with that overcall, I like doing that with kings and aces even sometimes because people then cannot go jacks and tens. Queen nine, 
backdoor flush draw, no two over, just one overcut. Doesn't get way worse than that. So I'm not betting full range, even though the board is quite good with all the no hits. That's another not great card, I'd say. If I want to bet, I want to have again two over cards. So this goes into my check folding range. Putting the weakest hands we have in a check folding range is very, very, very reasonable. And now I play like pocket nines that I could play that way and try to get out a king jack. And we face the race, okay. Small race, pocket nines himself. I like it with the tank. I don't see the bluffs too much, to be honest. Some 10x, the 10 nine clubs, queen 10 clubs blocker is, is a little tempting, but just folding the weakest hand is I think a good idea. I'm losing all the time so far, but this is some good action. Flopping those jacks, maybe trying and win a, win a stack back. 6.5, sometimes raising, mainly calling. Pocket sevens are always raising here uh, together with some bluffs and some king jack. Let's go for the call, ace. Double-edged sword, I would say. He obviously improves to lots of aces. His ace king won't go anywhere, but obviously he can have queen 10 suited and pocket aces, so uh, not having nuts anymore is always a little bit sad. But ace high board, we're not having small stabs. There's no equity to be denied with small bets, so we go 2e pretty much, which should be something like that. Going all the way or nothing, starting with low pockets with a diamond that I did float on the flop and some 7x and this now looks so freaking scary check calling that board this seems so freaking pocket kingish ace king is not slow playing like that ah this is so ah, i'm always seeing nuts i'm always seeing the nuts i'm always seeing them i'm always seeing them i'm so scared so paranoid don't prove me right he's 10. Ooh. Ah, that's so good that I'm freaking paranoid person when it comes to poker hands, but obviously not doing anything but jamming there and playing somewhat correct. The ace 10 snap call, snappity snap, small one versus cutoff, ace 10 offsuit definitely to lose. So um, yeah, nice. We planned to win a stack back here against the yeah, non full stack, definitely calling, but not chasing too far. Check is good. I think I want to wait one more check to then go max belt. Max value, I want to say max value against ace king. This plan has just changed, but I still started with that that I would do with any pocket pair because I just put him on uh, ace king, to be honest. And now there's only room for stupid calls, really, because I can represent the world, but I'm still jamming. I'm not scared of a six. If he has the five, six suit, good for him, but I find stupid calls in those spots. Let's give him a chance. I put me on queen 10 suit. Damn it. King deuce, I think uh, that's hand you sometimes want to barrel again. The king of spades is really bad. I think this is a bad barrel. We don't block a seven. We block the backdoor space that I wanted to fold on the turn. We are playing against uh, someone who likes calling. We need to get ace x to fold if I bet now. So let's give it up. Ace nine. Queen Jack getting called by King X of Hearts. I'm always looking for the suits, which are the guaranteed pair plus flush draw that are calling me. I'm blocking the Queen X of Spades that are calling me. I would bet some other Queen Jacks maybe. Might fold out a King Five of Diamonds and get called by some Queen X uh, that I have dominated. And uh, yeah, Ace King is a very good hand. He checks on 8-7-7, seven, seven. so I block the only hands he should really check, I guess, uh, with the non-suit of the board. So I'm not doing anything. Now, trying. Get rid of, I think I have to, to start betting here somewhere. Same hand, ace queen offsuit is a hand I play against. It's getting some ace kings to fold. Defending king then suited against a three bet here, blind versus blind. Both options are fine. Check raising and big bet. Check raising and uh, check calling. Better king x, he folds right away. I would say yes, so I prefer to clean my king x out here and play two street game against the large bet. Give myself the jam option on the turn. If he jams, we cannot go anywhere with our backdoor straights. Need to dodge some ace five diamonds. Everything else is fine. Fold is best, best outcome. This guy, I'm not sure. I'll call once he checked down before. Let me realize my king x. Another caller here that makes it tough. Eight x of spades absolutely available. So I'm not even block betting here uh, with that guy. In his shoes, I'm folding any nine. Yeah, so he can have king himself. Pot betting it is not a bluff, sorry. Against someone who limps and then pot bets. You're not bluffing, pot. Ace jack, I decided to three bet, call it off for that. This is lots of ace queen, ace king, but who knows, unknown. 35 big lines. A7 really hates to get check raised, so I'm checking this one back. Make sure I realize my equity. Check of hearts on the turn, obviously beautiful. I can check back again, or mainly will 
bet. Easy call against a reasonable check raise size. I beat his club draws, his hard draws that he might go with. And now I have a mandatory check back. Ah, the knight is so great. I might still beat like a king high club draw. Who knows? 8-9. Good check back. Check 8 suited, not 3 betting there. Hurts too much to 3 bet fold. Actually, often betting here. I go for a bigger size on that flop. Broadways are just connecting a little with a 10, so I want to give them some more pressure than just half pot. The 4 should be another very good card for me. I fold on Jack 9 now, so I think a rather mandatory bet. Keep betting like this. Polarized trades and two pairs in the river. I'm not sure, maybe a big bet now is fine as well, but I think we still bet quite some 10x, so I cannot go over bet. Oh, the three really hurts. He doesn't have a three, but I wanted to do any of my straights getting there. Any, any, any. Now it's so easy to over bluff. Eight, nine, nine jack offsuit, jack eight offsuit, unblock this club, so no, this is not the one. Ah, uh, that jack eight. I was really, really hoping for obviously a hit. Actually, I was hoping for a card that I ju could just jam. To be honest, I, I didn't want to hit. I want to, to have beautiful river jam. I'm, I'm just after action right now, but not after stupid jam action. Mm -hmm.